Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have right here Toyota CHR and I want to show you the lights. This is the basis entry level and because this car it has that super nice cute design i was thinking like okay i have the car in test for a few days and i want to film also the lights and i want to present you the lights so in this video i have my best camera and i want to show you the lights and i want to talk a little bit about exterior lights interior lights ambient lights and also on the road a little bit uh, the lights high beam and low beam and first of all i want to point out that this Toyota CHR, it's the basis entry level. That means it doesn't come with those super nice LED lights on the rear here where you have those following light. It comes basis and I was thinking like, oh, that, that should be interesting for many people that want to buy the basis version. So first of all, we will start with the exterior. I will go a little bit farther away from the car to make an idea uh, about the lights and the way they look. And also keep in mind that the video uh, for those of you that have these HDR monitors or uh, telephones you can see in really really clear how the lights look like but from my point of view I like very much the design really nice design on the lights and also really nice design on the car I like also this gray color I think it fits quite nice on the car and in the nighttime it looks gorgeous now let's go closer let's start with the bulb light this is something that i don't want to see in the future even on the basis level entry cars i want to see led lights on all versions so turning signals the tail lights and also the uh, number plate here the lights on the number plate uh, the only led on the rear we have this fog lamp on the down part and then on the right side the same story look at it what do you think about it pretty nice pretty fine and then we have again this halogen light turning signals on the mirror here i think on the next version of chr will look much much better and then we have here in the front we have also the basis basic light actually that you can get and i will go a little bit forward and i will zoom in so you can see them a little bit better from this angle so those are they are not bad to be honest i drive the car in the night time and i have a few test drives with it and they look quite quite okay i mean you have a great great visibility it's just the way they designed but other than that they they are just fine you don't have to worry about the visibility and i will show you also a little bit later we have those turning signals halogen light and then we have the daylight led light and then we have the low beam and the high beam led light and then down here we have again halogen light a yellow light so i, I think this yellow light from the down port it's kind of broke it's kind of break the lights in terms of design it's much nicer if you go on the top end version uh, they look much much better but on this version they look like that now let's go in the trunk to show you what kind of lights uh, should you expect if you order CHR for the moment, this version, you can expect one light on the left side. It's a normal halogen light, a yellow light. From my point of view, it's more than enough. So you can make an idea what kind of visibility you have from that light. So it's more than fine. Yeah, I don't think you need more than that. And then you have here on this side, again, some light. And you have it right here. Let me turn it on, just like that. It's just one light, one yellow light. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of yellowish. And it's more than enough. I mean, when you turn it on, you have super, super light inside the car. From my point of view, it's more than enough light. And if I go inside the car, and if I look from this angle in the front, you will see on the upper side, the same story. There you have two lights. The same like this one here and you have so much light inside the, the car it's more than enough and if you turn those off let me show you i want to turn those off and i want to show you the ambient light now i can turn it off oh i have to close the door it doesn't want to turn off now it turn off look at this and right now you can see the blue ambient light and i like very much a few elements here for example i like very much that bluish light there on the uh, on the storage space on the both sides and then i like very much 
the lights from the cup holders. I don't know how they position the light there from the side and something like that, but they look so nice. It, it, it has so, such a nice uh, feeling added to it. And then if you go a little bit higher, you will see that ambient light, beautiful uh, bluish ambient light on the steering wheel and on the, on the climatic system. Let me go in front again right now. Close the doors in the back. Also, the doors quality is great. Here, I love this light here. I mean, it comes from here, from this area. It's, it's really beautiful, that light. Uh, the ambient light here on the buttons, it looks great. Then you have the background light from the buttons. It's also very pleasant in the nighttime. I wanna turn off this and also this. And look, look there, there is my favorite. Look how nice it's like a smoke, something like that. It looks really good. And then you have another one here, really cool. It's really, really cool the way they designed that. I, I really enjoy it. Anyway, going forward, right here, and let me go back to the menu of the car. It's much more darker and nicer. And then also the ambient light from the buttons, bluish like that. It looks so, so cool. So it's a very pleasant driving uh, feeling when you are in the nighttime, so I like it very much. And also, of course, you can dim a little bit more the screen, so you will have a better, better view. So anyway, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some useful information from it. If you have questions, ask me down below in the comment. I still want to make from time to time when I have a car overnight, I'm planning to film the lights, you know, just like an information. Just maybe someone is curious to see the lights and uh, to make an idea on how it's the ambient light on the car because most of the reviews are made in the daytime and in the daytime you can't show the lights at least those ambient light on the doors you barely see it and sometimes maybe this car doesn't have crazy light but some cars some models that i will have overnight maybe they have really interesting uh, ambient lights and stuff like that and i just want to show you i want to make kind of a tradition to make an extra video so for some of you maybe it's it's useful so that was the video i hope you enjoy it Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye guys.